Alright, so what is up guys? This is Draken here. Welcome to the frigid wintry coldness of the snowy biome of Ark Mobile. Alright, so we are going to be taming a woolly rhino in here. I had the intention of resurrecting and taming a Eri woolly rhino in the wild, but yeah, just where I just set all this up, there was a level 434. So we are going to be taming this fellow up. So the first thing is first, the woolly rhinos don't have a crap ton of top, they have a bit. It isn't, uh, you can't call it too small. Well, let's get to the facts first. The Wolf Rhino saddle is unloaded at level 53. For that, you need 250 hide, 135, 170 face, and 60 metal ingots. They take terror bird kibble in order to tame up. So, for that, you need terror bird exit, runner, cooked meat jerky, or normal cooked meat, and two major berries and three fibers along with the water skin. They can be lifted by a quetzal, and you can just drop them into a tap and tame it up. Uh, trap and tame it up. And this is a 3x3 taming pen. That's one of my most favorite taming pens, but I've used it so much that I decided not to use it for this. Instead, there is another kind of taming pen right here. All you need is four dino gateways. Keep a little space in between here, just like this, so you can just wiggle out. And uh, four dino gateways and uh, gate frames along with the gates. And one of them is here and it's open. That's where I'm going to lead this guy in. Alright, so let me just get like that and uh, punch you in the butt and run just like that follow me in and get trapped nope all right trapped so it's quite easy it's just like that you can trap them up now these guys do not have any headshot multipliers at all so it doesn't matter whether you shoot them in the head or in their body it, it actually matters not at all uh, they can damage wood so make it make all your this uh, trap out of uh, stone completely and you'll be all safe to go now just keep in mind they can only be found in the frigid wintry biomes and also there is a lot of diabolos and saber tools and rexes in the area so you have to clear the pay way out of those guys and uh, yeah it's quite safe to just drag this guy out afterwards just remember diabolos will be a great threat in this particular region and uh, rexes as well uh, sometimes trank arrows might get this guy killed so it's better to use toxic arrows out of a compound bow or a crossbow and uh, trank darts and shocking tranquilizer darts and this guy seems quite bugged out at the moment and that small gap is not enough for it to ex actually just get out of the trap but it's quite enough to trap it inside and for you to get out of the trap alright so all that's left is to just keep trying to hit this guy by keeping 3 seconds between each and every shot and that way this guy is all in the back uh, you do have to be careful because these guys are really heavy hitters and powerful and they are useless they are useful as well so we'll get to the users after we just tame this guy up and out called all right okay so these guys can only be found ex exclusively in the snowy biome but you can also find these guys in the extreme reaches like uh, where the snowy biome meets the rest of the biomes those are also good places for you to find them they're on top of mountains on the valleys every single place all right so let's put this across and I had not brought any berries at all with me but that's fine I do not know how much this guy will need exactly because I had not planned for this I had planned for a e one except for the fact that as soon as I just finished building up every damn thing this guy just appeared out of nowhere uh, must be because I killed a bunch of diabolos in the area that happens like that alright okay so let's get the berries into you these guys do not drain their top really fast so it doesn't matter at all you may not even need narcotics even with berries even if you're using berries you might not need narcotics even with veggies I doubt you would need narcotics so all that's left is to just guard this guy afterwards after this guy's knocked out if you want you can just try one of those kind of taming pits because it's kind of safer uh, not always 100% efficiently safe but yeah quite good enough to keep you keep those predatory creatures out and uh, if you have a large number of mammoths and other woolly rhinos in the area well if there are other woolly rhinos in the area you have to be a bit careful because they will come to the aid of the guy you are trying to knock out they are pack animals after all and if there are a lot of mammoths and megaloceros in the area yeah all the more safe because the carnivores would first of all attack them alright so if you have a quetzal you can just simply 
go ahead and pick it up and take it wherever you want and trap it that looks fine all right so let me just get a bit close to this guy and uh, it's babysit time Alright, so this guy's tamed up. Bruh, that wasn't even the message. Alright, so everyone on neutral. And just as we speak, there comes a Rex. That's the problem. Rexes, Sabertooths, Devils. Yeah, they are existing in this region quite frequently. Alright, so let's get you settled up. And we can just see what sort of power this guy's got. Because Wooly Rhinos, they do not look much. But they're in fact really powerful. And yeah, I forgot. Once you just uh, place a gate, they will not fit through that. Alright, so I had to get rid of the gate if I want to go through. And alright, we are through. So they will fit through the wooden dino, not wooden, normal dino gateways. But if there's a gate inside, then those guys will not fit. Alright, so. Yeah, you can just pretty much insta kill most creatures in the region. Alright, so let me just prove that fact to you. The thing is, the they are good at collecting touch, better at collecting touch than wood. Most herbivores are like that. And they are really good at collecting the berries. And as they are gathering momentum from running, they will deal more damage. So this guy's got 4000 health. And uh, yeah, melee damage percentage is at what? Let me just take a good look 800%. And this guy's movement speed is at 222%. They will initially seem slow, but they will pick up the pace just like a diabetes, this, just like that. And when you're at the peak of that running, you're extremely fast and extremely powerful. And just remember when you're just doing the running thingy, uh, do not stop because if so, you will lose the momentum. And let's just go. The rhinos, they deal more damage when the enemy is in front of them. Just like that. Both of them dead. Alright, so Mammoth, you are next. And well, almost all carnivorous creatures will aggro on to you. Woo, that was almost halfway health. 9000 became 4000. Maybe it was previous to damage, but well, we know it's got 4000 health now. We can just see how much damage we deal by charging up again. Alright. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. That was almost almost 4000 if I just uh, powered myself up a little bit more yeah just like that now unfortunately rhinos do not have excellent stamina and uh, they've got a strange attack radius actually they cannot hit from the sides uh, they deal more damage from the front so if your enemy is in right in front of you you can deal an extra ton of damage and the melee damage increases with the melee damage yeah Putting levels into melee damage will increase the melee damage and that animation is pretty darn cool. Yeah, it looks kind of cute. Alright. Unfortunately, these guys cannot harvest bodies. But you can keep running, attacking while you're running. And keep collecting everything. And keep damaging everything in your path. So, all in all, a really powerful dino. And uh, it's not actually a dino, right? It's a herbivore. Uh, and a mammal. So, a really powerful mammal that can be tamed up. Dealing over 1000 damage with the charge. So let me just see how much damage this guy is dealing without charging up. Now unfortunately this guy is doing another 375. Dude. Alright. About 300 damage. So it's about 10 times increase. So that's about a 10 times increase when we just uh, gain some momentum and run. And I see my dear little quetzal getting attacked over there by something. Alright, get wrecked just like that. And I'm freezing now, unfortunately. Stop! Stop, Wetzel! Stop! Okay. So, guys, that's how the, the uh, Wooly Rhinoceros can be tamed up. They are found exclusively in the Snowy Biome. 
when they do the charged up attack when they gain momentum they can deal a crap ton of damage more than 10 times the usual amount of damage normal they normally they deal so this guy was dealing 300 damage up close but uh, around the sides so i should better dismount to show you so around this region the holy rhinos cannot attack you at around this region and uh, up here like in this kind of region they do not deal much damage but in the front you have to be right in front of them to be dealt the most amount of damage all right so that's mostly it about the holy rhinos guys so if you found this helpful in any way please just remember to go ahead and subscribe and leave a like punch a thumbs up and comment as well all right guys that'll be it for this then that's how you can tame up the woolly rhino those are the two traps that uh, can be used actually you can pick them up with the quetzal and drop it inside the trap and that'll be it all right guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me this is Draken here catch you guys with the next ones